my name is uh, Michał Wieloch. I come from Poland, Kielce, not far from here, and I am a coordinator here. Uh, it's my first time as a coordinator, uh, and this is the first time I'm doing uh, LARP uh, about the European Union. I think it's done first time ever. Uh, LARP is a live action role play. Uh, so, um, players uh, each uh, take a role and they need to work together to achieve a goal, a common goal set by me and Kuba, by the moderators or game masters. <laughs> now it's really easy to move from country to country. Really, really easy. Uh, people can uh, go from Poland to work in Germany. It's really, really, really good. But when, if, I hope if, the United, uh, the European Union falls, it won't be that easy. Yeah, so uh, we had these uh, role-play workshops here. Uh, we were pretending uh, that the European un Union collapsed and uh, th we had uh, some countries, we had some roles and uh, the, the main uh, goal was uh, to see and show to the other people what can be when European Union, if European Union collapse. So we worked on scenarios, we, we made some conclusions with everyone. So main workshop was about this. The workshop was like really great because you didn't have to like write a lot. It was just you had a role play, and I really liked my role play, so I got into it. And I think that's like the best way to educate people, not by just telling them to write stuff about the Europe and stuff like that, but making them like be in that place, making them be like a, the prime minister, or whatever. Just making them do. Just be in that situation. We cannot do anything, but we can make a new start. We can create a good country together. Yeah, but you know, the, it's happened right now. The country is collapsed and we try to make... When I read first time, end of the European Union, because it was a topic, uh, I said, okay, what is this, you know? And uh, I said, I'm also so into politics. I said, it, it will be really um, so nice you know, to talk about politics, about other countries. And um, uh, when I came here, we had a lot of um, a workshop about that. It was uh, to learn something from different people, to uh, tell your story about your country. It was really nice. I regret that I didn't do this earlier because I was so afraid that I can't speak English, that uh, la la la, some stupid stuff. No, 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 just do it, really. Because it's a new experience and even if someone is not very good at English, somehow this person can manage how to communicate with each other and this is a great thing, really. So my advice is just don't be scared and do it, really. Nothing bad can happen here, nothing. Basically, I want to get into the Erasmus Plus. This is my second project and I want to be a part of it because of I enjoy spending time in different countries, meeting new people and stuff. The best part was meeting new people, like, I met different cultures, like, all around the world, and met new people and made good connections. <laughs>